the title of my workshop was Cognitive Reprocessing and Play Therapy with Traumatised Children. Um, so what we looked at was how we actually do what traditionally CBT focused therapy is around helping kids develop more healthy schemas. Um, often children with who've experienced trauma, um, have maladaptive schemas, particularly about themselves. So I'm bad, I'm unlovable, I'm stupid, um, would be examples of that. Um, and so the focus was around how our play therapy techniques, particularly our use of our therapist self and also our interpretations um, and our reflections that we use throughout the play therapy process can actually support children to develop more healthy um, schemas about themselves. So the whole idea is how play therapy provides children with the disconfirming experiences that is the core part of what supports cognitive reprocessing. Probably what I noticed about the group today um, is that a lot of people hadn't heard about cognitive reprocessing that wasn't familiar to them. Um, Whereas in Australia, it's probably more well known, um, even amongst play therapists, because cognitive behaviour therapy, um, unfortunately, I think, um, is still a primary therapeutic modality that's promoted in Australia. Um, and so that would probably be, yeah, one of the main differences. Um, and I think that is partly due to how our services um, are also delivered. Um, yeah, but I think there's a bit of difference just generally, whether it be here in the UK or in Australia, around whether, you know, play therapists have a, say, an allied health um, base, like an undergraduate degree in allied health, like psychology or social work. Um, though, you know, with that training, more people tend to um, be familiar um, with, the, with this type of work. So the, I did a shared a case example um, during our workshop this afternoon about little Bobby. Um, so little Bobby had experienced trauma and he had some really um, maladaptive schemas that I'm bad, I'm naughty, I'm stupid, I can't do anything. Um, and in the process of play therapy, um, in the safe space and in the th safe therapeutic relationship that we developed, he was able, actually able to start having a go at things. So that was one of his main presenting issues, um, was that at school he, he wouldn't engage in any schoolwork. So he became very disruptive, um, often very aggressive as well, was very reactive to trying to have a go. Um, and so over the course of therapy, he was able to do that in his own time. Um, he was able, particularly he used a lot of construction play um, and so construction play is so great for developing one's sense of self and self-efficacy because we can problem solve and we can try things they cannot work and we can try again um, and so my role as therapist was really to help him notice those new experiences that he was having so we call those the disconfirming experiences that actually challenge the old schemas and now I was replacing those with the reflections that I was using that Bobby you can have a go that didn't work the first time but you tried again you can work things out you've got persistence you just didn't work the first time or the second time but you tried again and you've got persistence um, and so that was very much you know what was the key change mechanism for him in therapy um, and what was really lovely one day is um, when I was attending a meeting at the school because I've been working with the school as well <laughs> around how they could be supporting um, Bobby with similar um, reflections about who he was, his qualities of self. Um, and they said to me that, oh, he, he walked, um, he left school the other day and he, he was all tall in stature and his chest was puffed out and he yelled across the yard to some kids to say goodbye. Um, and then when we were doing handwriting the other day, he said, um, I can have a go, I can persist. Yeah, that's the work. My message is always um, to get to know our kids intimately. What is their need? So, um, and how do we meet their need? Um, getting to know their regulation profile, you know, how is it that they actually operate? Because so many kids we work with are dysregulated. Um, it'll show in how they play, it'll show in how they relate with us, and it will show in what's happening in their body, not just their behaviour. So the more intimately we become 
aware of what those things are, um, it makes it much more easy to target how we use our reflections and interpretations and our therapist's use of self um, to support the child.